in terms of their skill, I think they're doing fine because, um, yeah, they just do not know they need those heavy units. Um, so that's also what we have these TMA tutorials for. If you do not know that, um, yeah, YouTube, um, Venom5 TMA username, and then TMA uh, channel, and there you go for the TMA tutorials. And there, um, yeah, we try to explain you you, uh, you can only finish the Nexus um, off with uh, heavy units and heroes in late game, so <coughs> that's definitely something these guys um, uh, lack. And another Dark Arkin. <laughs> um, yep, as good as that, he shouldn't. Uh, okay. He should just keep it out of distance, and Blue should drop his units um, nearby that Dark Arcan and kill it, because it's dangerous. If he forgets about it, and <laughs> gets a Phoenix, and it gets immediately mind controlled, then that's a good game. And once again, um, Blue trying to do something, a uh, yeah, mighty tank drop here, a lot of tanks. If he now sieges up, this Alan will be dead for sure. Here's the siege mode, and... Boom! There goes the Alan Shazar, instantly dead. And Blue has now... I think he smells like morning air. And he he thinks... He knows he can kind of win the game now. He goes for three single Norits. Combo would have been four and a vessel. Even better. <coughs> um, anyway, he did not. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Purple can can bring the next health points down to uh, around 200 with another A in mind control on one of the Norids. Let's see, uh, but no way, one can't win with two. Uh, tanks have been wiped out, um, so the Nexus... <laughs> you can see how powerful the tank group is, yeah, red. And now, <laughs> that's so absolutely crazy paradox. The Yggdrasil will go down, um, dies, um, but uh, he was able to break those uh, two Norads, uh, not so bad. Um, yeah, actually the next buildings are pretty <laughs> equal in points. Um, I mean, okay, around 2500 isn't really equal, but both in the red area, and that's so totally crazy, totally crazy. Um, Blue should try to, yeah, just get his units um, pound and then respawn and then he could go, I don't know, an observer maybe in the second zone and then just tanks and his ally should definitely go and, um, well okay, he's protecting the Norids I guess, so there, there is some sense in waiting there. But anyway, they have no observer and Blue isn't selecting an, an observer either, so <coughs> these raids are not, yeah. Okay, anyway. Attacking those units with the raids really isn't um, efficient because the raids are totally useless with ground forces. You can, or a Zera tool, right now when I see the Dark Templars, imagine one of the teams just one time going for a Zera tool. <laughs> we would have, uh, this game would have ended like, I don't know, one hour ago. And, um, but, uh, well, <laughs> considering on how this game went, it's a really close one. A lot of ultralist now for uh, for for blue, and I think he will be able to stop that push. <laughs> That's so f so crazy. Tom Kasansky is not not cloaked here. I think he has even three. Maybe he went for a combo, but I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Um, the T's are excellent to kill the shield versus health points. Well, have a look for yourself. <laughs> yeah, that will take some hours. <coughs> but you have to know it, so... Well done here, um, selecting an Absorber. Norads kill the DTs. No way in uh, saving that, just just let it die. Okay. I mean, <sighs> just one push by the bottom, uh, sorry, by the top team. He has, yeah, he has two Yamato cannons, could also fire those. And what he also could do if he has the time, which he does, um, at least he had it, is to repair, um, go for an observer, uh, which always has SCVs with it, and repair the Nords. Also a good hint. Um, okay, these uh, wraiths are senseful versus the Guardians, but um, oh man, he will lose the Nords versus so many uh, Goliaths. Or oh, maybe let's see. No, I'm was I was wrong. Okay, but anyway, it was quite risky. Um, 
to let the Norids uh, go there in an open fight versus Goliaths. You usually have to support them. And now, once again, Blue trying to do something with a tank recall and a uh, sorry tank drop. Um, but Orange was <laughs> unloading a lot of reavers. Oh man, those Garrus really pounded tanks. But anyway, he stopped. He stopped uh, the reaver drop. And um, okay, now also purple going for <laughs> for a tank drop. I think he learned that by <laughs> by blue. And blue is now actually uh, okay. Of course, there's some sense um, in not attacking for the top team because um, they want um, to uh, defend here. They do not want to lose the game. If you just go and attack, maybe uh, two single units. Um, sneak around the map and kill your nexus <clears throat> but anyway now uh, observers but too late um, both norads of blue died and um, yeah purple trying to uh, drop some tanks but tanks of blue already in position and um, yeah well I, I really can't commentate that game like oh awesome oh my god check this circling out why oh, died my god um, <coughs> it's just like yeah um, it's more, as I just said uh, at the start of the game, it's uh, <coughs> more for beginners, and um, yeah, I try to point out, um, yeah, what you can do better. <laughs> anyway, at least some team A, at least some team A. Um, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah. These guys just do not want to end the game, or they they do not know how to do that. <laughs> and only 250 health points for the Nexus. That is like reduce it a bit more, and it's like one single shot of a Phoenix. <laughs> and let's see, is that a normal tank? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, purple should not save that. Just just die. Because um, you need more more units, fresh new units. Let's see, lurkers go down, one still alive here, and uh, orange waiting here with one lurker, he can't possibly kill the nexus. Well, okay, if you wait five hours, he will do it, but, um, yeah, he should unburrow and just let his lurker die. Or go for ground suicide, he needs new units. I mean, <laughs> either, or, <laughs> both teams just need to do one solid push, like go together, have, I don't know, maybe Zealots, Goliaths, Tanks and Reavers and an Observer and Storm. Go together, one solid push at the right timing when the other team has some units left and both Nexus are like as good as dead. But um, yeah, they are not. And um, that's why this game hasn't ended yet. Um, <coughs> now let's see. Anyway, yeah, <coughs> it's pretty funny the bottom team is not able to finish that game off. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of like words here. Um, okay, um, what do we have here? A single ultralisk. No, okay. That's, um, yeah, could have used the ground suicide also, but anyway. A lot of ultralisk now for red, and um, yeah, uh, you really want to to uh, type uh, enter and then please yeah go tanks or, or reavers and end it someone anyone <laughs> please and I think yeah purple is going for a tank drop now at least it looks like that very much um, so let's see um, as soon as these tanks um, sieged up. They they really will end the game, I think. But um, blue is around with some reavers, and he's putting them here into the zone. So maybe he he really saw the tanks of purple, and um, yeah, I think um, he might be aware of the tank drop and already um, uh, unloaded the uh, reavers here to stop the tank drop. But unfortunately, that Tom Kasansky killed the shuttles, and now, um, yeah, well, now blue is uh, absolutely trapped. And if um, if purple is now focusing the nexus, he will just end the game. Um, okay, now let's see. That's getting really close. No, I think that's good game. No way, no way. 
no, he's <laughs> shooting on the tanks. Okay, now the Nexus goes down. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I have to say, um, yeah, <clears throat> if you're playing uh, with beginners, uh, you uh, will have games like these. And, um, yeah, then you, you really have um, to have um, really good skills, so you, you always have to scout for two people, so to speak. You have to know what the whole team 